Hey guys, it's Stacey. Um, so this video today is a compilation of sort of examples of what I would wear to different TV gigs. Um, I've wanted to make this video ever since I first put the blog together and I started getting my first gigs in TV because it was something that really honestly stressed me out. Um, because I knew that if you were being a runner, you had to be quite practical, but I also had, you know, years of school work experience counsellors ingrained in me telling me like, oh, you need to look professional. If it's not a pencil skirt and heels, you're gonna get sacked. Um, so yeah, here are my examples. I'm gonna show you what I would wear to a runner gig, um, what I would wear in a TV office, and what I would wear to an interview all in the summertime. But yeah, let's get stuck in. So this is a pretty standard example of what I would wear if I was on set. I always wear my hair up on set just because odds are you're gonna be running around all day, it's gonna get in your way, you're gonna get really sweaty, it's just gonna be annoying, so I just wear it up. It's not a rule, that's just sort of a tip and something that I do. Um, I wear like a comfy t-shirt because especially in spring summertime, it can be quite warm and humid outside. It obviously depends on where you're shooting and what's going on. Trousers, they're quite breathable, don't know why I'm doing this, I don't do this on set, but I just, this is how I decided to demonstrate that. And uh, yeah, just trainers are an absolute must if you're on set. Do not wear heeled anything, just don't do it. If that's the only thing you remember, let it be that. Especially if you're a runner because you're gonna be expected to zoom around the place running errands. So yeah, comfy, practical shoes. Okay, something that everyone always makes fun of me for is my bum bag that I always have on set. And I do not care because I keep so many useful things in here and it is a godsend whenever I'm being a runner. So that is gonna be another video of the kind of things that I keep in my bum bag. I don't wear it all black, I just wear a lot of black. Um, I've never been on a set where wearing all black is an absolute rule. Um, but yeah, so that is the first outfit. Okay, so this is an example of what I would wear if I was in a production or development office as a researcher. Every office in TV that I've ever worked in has been reared more towards the casual side of smart casual. Um, I hate to be that jeans and a nice top girl, but that is basically the kind of thing I would wear. Yeah, t-shirts are also perfectly acceptable as long as it's like clean and ironed. Basically just don't look like complete crap and you'll be fine. Trainers and boots are totally acceptable. I've got my DMs on. I keep dancing, but anyway, yeah, this is, I think you get the gist of what I would wear to a production office or development office, or basically if I'm being a researcher in an office, drink every time I say the word office, this is the sort of thing I would wear. So this is what I would wear if I had a job interview. It is a little bit posher than some of the other outfits I've had on, kind of bougie. Um, so I'll just talk you through it. I've got a blazer, I've got a baggy sort of, take it off, t-shirt dress with a cutout. It is quite short and that just genuinely comes down to how comfortable you are with that. I have worn this to TV offices and work and job interviews loads of times and it's never been a thing, it's never been an issue. Um, if you're uncomfortable with the length of the leg, you can always just wear tights. If it's cold especially as well, it's up to yourself and just some black heeled boots. But yeah, so this is an example of what I would wear if I had a job interview for a gig. So those are just some examples of what I would wear in all of those scenarios in the summertime. If you would like me to do a winter version, um, absolutely let me know in the comments or DM me. But I hope that was useful to somebody somewhere. Okay, so this is the part of the video I don't know how to do without cringing so hard that my body turns inside out. Um, but basically, I'm just gonna go for it. If you could please like this video, as in actually like it, press the button. I think it's on this side. I'm just, I'm pointing there. But anyway, like it. And um, if you could subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. And um, if you wanna follow me on Insta, I do post quite a lot of things on Insta stories. Um, I am at Belfast Media Girl, and on Twitter, I am at Belfast Media Girl, as in Belfast Media GRL, because Twitter only allows you to have a certain number of characters in your handle, which sucks. But yeah, um, thanks so much for watching and bye.